Hello everybody. So welcome to the short demonstration of the functionality of the new Impunto Bisto Archive for cloud computing. Um, this is a solution for SAP where you can store data and documents which are in the administration of SAP directly in the area of Google. So first on the first page you see for example an invoice item, a booked invoice item. This is a typical SAP uh, display. Uh, after booking you get some relevant information about the invoice item with uh, the customer, doc number and so on. And um, over the generic object services um, you find two links uh, between this object and uh, two documents, two images, for example. Um, in this case, um, the SAP uses the term of an archive link connection between the SAP business object, the invoice, and the stored images. Now we want to add a new document to this SAP object. So in this case, the customizing allows that we generate uh, some new information uh, like TIFF. So we choose one existing TIFF file directly from uh, a path. In this case, you have different possibility to uh, generate these information. So for example, the Impunto is also very has high experience about all the scanning theme. Uh, scanning directly on SAP objects, mass scanning, bike processing, OCR mechanism, and so on. So, but in this case, uh, we choose a very simple thing. We choose a, a, a file which lays on the directory on the on, on the on the system, and so uh, with this procedure, we add a new document to the SAP object. So, in this case, if we check the attachment list, now we see we see three entries. Uh, one new entry and if we do a double click on these new entry we see the new information in this case this uh, file will be shown in uh, in the right viewer so uh, let me uh, show you another thing let me show that uh, we have some uh, buffering information some caching information and this means that the Bisto Archiver for cloud computing has also integrated uh, such a theme of buffering and, and caching. So at least you see that uh, uh, we generate uh, two files. This is a um, SAP specific way to store information. For example, we have generated a new uh, file and you see on the, on the date concrete we have the 2.10 p.m. information, the two files, the bigger one and the smaller one. This is typically SAP, this is as, as SAP approach. This has no influence by Impunto. So in this case, uh, we choose, for example, that we um, switch over to the, uh, to the Google area. This is the secured and protected Google area for, for the documents for SAP. And now we see all the, the same information, the two files, the data file and the bigger file with the term of 2.10 p.m. So here you see the two generated files. So let me show you another functionality of the Bisto Archiver for cloud computing. For example, um, if we probably if we delete uh, manually the two files in the caching in the buffering area, um, then um, you also see always see that uh, the original item from SAP has of course three connections, three links to the um, uh, relevant documents. Um, you know, we deleted this file in the in the buffering area of the Bisto Archiver, but the links are still existing. This is clear. And so, if we go to the do a double click, then directly from the uh, archiving area of Google, the files will be transferred into the SAP world. And so you see. Uh, the, the file once again, which is coming directly out from the SAP system. And of course, it's stored once again in the buffering area, in the caching area of the Bisto Archiver for cloud computing. So I hope this uh, gives you a first impression how the Impunto Bisto Archiver for cloud computing is working. So you're able uh, to store all the data, all the documents, 
which are in the administration of SAP, directly in the area, in the storage area of Google. In the sense of SAP, this means that we have the possibility to store the documents, for example, via the document info record. Here in this demonstration, we see the archive link mechanism for um, uh, finance object or human resource objects, for example. Uh, and of course, we have the possibility to, to store the ADK files, the archive uh, development kit files from the SAP database. This is also possible to store this directly uh, via the Impunto Vista Archive or, or cloud computing in the Google storage area. So I want to thank you very much for your attention and bye-bye. Uh,